Welcome back dear students to the physics vision classes. The given question is the integral i is from 0 to infinity and we need to calculate this integral which is of e raised to the power minus x multiplied with this delta function. Okay. So firstly we will make use of one property very good property important property of delta function that delta of fx can be written as the summation of delta x minus x i divided by mode of f dash x i. Okay. So, what is this x i? These x i's are the roots of the equation. x i's are the roots. Roots means f x is 0, f x is 0 at this x i. Okay, and what is this? This is derivative of function and mode we need to take the mode of it. Now we will apply this and what are the roots? What are the various roots of sin x? Sin x roots of sin x a are sin x r x is equal to n pi. Okay, from 0 to 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi all are the roots of this function. So we have x is equal to what is xi? xi is n pi. Make sure about one thing that we need to take only positive values. Okay, only positive values because the given limits of integration are from 0 to infinity. So, we need not to bother about negative n. And what it will give you? It will give us the values as summation of delta x minus xi or x minus n pi divided by cos of x i right mode cos of n pi is either 1 or plus minus 1 cos of n pi are plus minus 1 raised to the power n and mode of it gives you plus 1 always right. So, this is x minus n pi only summation of this. Now, we will make use of another property which is the function with delta function at x minus a gives you the value of the function at x is equal to a only. So, we need not to integrate it. We can just substitute the value here of a. Here, this a is equal to n pi as x i. Okay? So, we will make use of these two properties. Now, the given integral becomes summation of e raised to the power minus x okay, into delta function of this, delta function of this which is x minus n pi and we have, we have i n varies from 0 to infinity. Uh, yes, right. So, when we will take the integral of this part, we will be getting the function e raised to the power minus x only at each and every point. This gives us e raised to the power minus pi to be common in all and rest of the function is actually a series, gp series which is given by a. 1 plus e raised to the power minus pi plus something something like this and this gives us no this e minus pi will be common first term will be 1 so this will not be common this is not needed and we will get a gp series like this only firstly we will put x is equal to 0 that is 1 e raised to the power 0 is 1 and then we have x is equal to 1 pi that is e raised to the power minus pi and plus so on it goes on in this manner and this is gp series which is given by which is solved as a by 1 minus r right. So, we have 1 plus e raised to the power minus pi plus e raised to the power minus 2 pi plus this is gp series given by a upon 1 minus r r is e raised to the power minus pi 
Now substituting this thing, we get e raised to the power pi upon e raised to the power pi minus 1. This is our answer and this is given by option D. Hence, we have option D is the correct answer to this question. Right? Okay, so stay tuned with us for more such doubt videos and doubt solving sessions and questions and thanks for watching.